Hi. 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 Today we shall be developing developing vector auto regressive auto rig rig auto regressive regressive model which is known as a var model and we have we have three variables such as edu then gdp and uh, inv what is edu here edu means education that is education and then uh, we have the GDP that is gross domestic product and what is INV INV is the investment so we have these three variable to develop vector auto regressive model VAR model and we have the data here you can see the data so it is the ob observation from 1980 until until 2010 right and that is the data of edu gdp and inv we have this three data that we have so far right okay and we assume that we assume that uh, all, all these variables are non-stationary non-stationary but when we convert all these variables into first difference then they become stationary that we assume without testing so when this thing happens then we can run the Johansen co-integration test right okay so first we shall run the Johansen co-integration test because edu gdp and inv these three variables are non-stationary but when i convert them into first difference then they will become stationary so we can run the Johansen test of cointegrations meaning that the variables are integrated integrated of same order meaning that they are non stationary but after first difference they become stationary meaning that variables are integrated of same order so when the variables are integrated of same order 
then we can run the Johansen test of cointegrations and that we shall do now first okay so so first I go to statistics to do it so I go to statistics right I click on the statistics then multivariate time series then I go to the co-integrating rank of a VECM okay so then I set the variables first I take ADU GDP and INV and here I take the constant and uh, here time settings okay here I put the observation and our data is yearly data so I select year then okay then I also click on the uh, reporting I take the I select report maximum eigenvalue statistics I select it then I go to model and here I take maximum lag 3 suppose lag selection criteria has advised me to take maximum lag 3 so I have taken lag 3 so the model is set so we can proceed so these are the outcomes of the Johansen test for cointegration so uh, so now uh, uh, what is our null hypothesis first I set my null hypothesis and uh, what is the null hypothesis uh, there is no cointegration that is null hypothesis and what is alternative hypothesis uh, there is cointegration among variables that is alternative hypothesis okay so here you can say maximum rank so zero what is zero that is the null hypothesis that means there is no cointegration so that is zero and here you can see trace statistics and critical value and the trace statistics is 26.38 and critical value is 29.68 so what is the guideline the guideline is when the trace statistics is more than critical value we can reject null hypothesis and can accept alternative hypothesis but but e, e, but if the trace statistics is less than critical value we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is no cointegration right okay so that is the guideline all the time 
okay so first I take this is my null hypothesis what is 0 there is no cointegration right okay. and here you can see 26.38 is smaller than 29.68 meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept null hypothesis so meaning that this zero is correct that means there is no cointegration among the among the variables meaning that our three variables such as edu gdp and, and inv they are not cointegrated meaning that they have no long run association ship meaning that in the long run they do not move together and when the variables are not cointegrated we cannot run vector error correction model right but we can run unrestricted var okay because here the variables are not cointegrated so we shall run the unrestricted var but not vecm okay and also we have one more test okay that is max statistics and critical value and this one is the null hypothesis what is zero there is no cointegration and the statistics value 14.36 is smaller than 20.97 meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis so meaning that we accept zero meaning that there is no cointegration among the three variables such as edu gdp and inv so so you can see the trace statistics and max statistics they are telling the they are telling the same thing that variables are not cointegrated so we can run the unrestricted var model that we shall do now